God often sends us illnesses to withdraw us from sin, to make us lead a more holy life, and so that, through meditation on death, we may earn a higher reward. Let us therefore thank him for sickness as much as health, because afflictions are present from God, less pleasant, no doubt, but often more useful than prosperity. Repeat with Job, if we have received the good things from the Lord, why should we not also receive the evils? Let's turn to God and pray to him as Jesus Christ himself begged the Eternal Father in the Garden of Olives. My Father, if this is your will, if your glory and my salvation ask, heal me, comfort me. When you so called on God, let him do it and be contented with what may happen to you. However hard and painful our afflictions are, we still suffer less than we deserve. If God leaves you in that state of suffering, praise him, thank him, worship his gentle providence. If it heals you, remember it's for you to serve it. Be careful not to sin anymore, it is the warning Jesus Christ gave to the sick he healed. Fulfill all the good resolutions you made and do not pay ingratitude to your kind benefactor. Saint Camilo of Lellis